Hello there and welcome back to some more Grand Turismo 4. Today we're continuing on Let's Play. This is episode 112. In today's episode we're continuing on with the German manufacturer events, going back to BMW, however it's for their final race, which is Club M, um, where we get to race M Club cars. For that we're going to need an M car, and well, I've already picked one out. Uh, we are going to go for a car which might surprise you. I'm going to go with an M3, which is something I don't usually do, however there's a very good reason for it. I love right. this colour. <laughs> That's a nice colour. Laguna Seca Blau. I don't really like the car, but holy shit, this colour. It's Mil, like... I'm going on an eBay PS2 game buying. Buy. I don't know. Anyways, we could have gone for the CSL, which... Uh, yeah, it's kind of more unique, but whatever. And we've already used the M5. Uh, if we, if you're sort of following along with this Let's Play as like a guide, I'd probably say go use the M5 that you used earlier, but, you know, you do you. Uh, right, we are going to want some Go Faster juice. I basically want to M5 proof this car, because the M5 has 500 brake horsepower, uh, which I think the M5 is the, I mean the GTR could show up, I don't know what fucking power the GTR produces though. It's like 400 something in like road car spec, I'm pretty sure. Oh, really? Yeah. It's not too bad then, I could probably just stick an NA tune on it and uh, we should be golden. Uh, which I will do. That brings us up to 413. I'll stick an exhaust on it, that'll probably bring us to 430. Uh, I'll probably. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna put brakes on it. I'll put brakes on it, suspension oh. on it. Uh, I would. Might leave tyres. I was off. The road car GTR makes 380. Oh wow! So yeah, like I said, I'm M5 proofing it anyway. So I don't think the GTR is an issue. I mean, the GTR is lighter, obviously. But also, uh, congrats to me. What? Uh, for actually getting through that intro. Yay! Because I'm fucking out of breath. So that's fun. Um, not from the intro, because I have... Basically, I'm really weird. I, I've locked stuff. Holy shit, this thing weighs a lot. I lock stuff, but I have to keep going back to make sure it's locked. It's just some, like, weird thing in my head. Uh, so I basically had to... Came from downstairs, locked the back door, came all the way up here, and then was just like, shit, it might not be locked, so I had to go all the way back downstairs and do that, so that was fun. Anyways, hopefully this car doesn't have an SMG gearbox, otherwise we're a bit fucked. Uh, Club M, it's available. Ooh, you could use the M Coupe in this. Maybe I should have done that instead. Anyways, we go Is to the El... Z3? Yes. The El Capitan, uh. Apricot Hill Raceway, Opera Paris, Suzuka, and fuck me, Jesus. Let's go. I don't know if he wants to. Yeah, Jesus really wants to go balls deep inside me. Have you not seen me? Well, no, because you've never actually shown us your face. I'm a 21-year-old piece of po your gold. Oh, hey, GTR, M5, and the M Coupe showed up. The whole gang's here, Scoob. Fuck's sake. But, yeah, Emil, what PS2 game should I fucking buy? Uh, Pimp My Ride. <laughs> yes. I'm not being serious. Buy Street Racing Syndicate. No, no, buy on PC. I could buy Pimp My Life for two quid. Should I do it? No, no, I'm buy getting the 360 RPM version for tuning. achievements. Get what? Extreme tuning. What? RPM extreme tuning. What's that? How to spell that? Uh, you know what? Let me give you a synopsis of this. I think it has a kind of weird thing about it. Naked. My first ride on pimp jacket, pimp costume. Nice. Well, this thing gets off the line. Interestingly. Uh, yeah, because it's a Top Gear game. Like, the Top Gear game series, not the show. RPM tuning. It's... <laughs> Is it the PS2 version of Max Power Racing? Is it called Max Power Racing? No, no, because no, I mean, it's a street racing like... game. Yeah, Max Power Racing is technically a street racing game, although you race through fucking ancient ruins, so I don't quite know what street racers do that, but there you go. No, no, it's just called Top Gear RPM Tuning in some places. 
Yeah, it's, it's RPM tuning here. I could buy it for four quid. Is it worth four quid? <laughs> I don't think it's worth four pence. Define worth it. <laughs> it's worth it for the meme factor, maybe. You should get Simpsons Aww. wrestling. Wait, do you I'd have Simpsons love, hit him? Run? in my own spunk. Do you have Simpsons hit him run? Since that's actually a good game. No, no, you don't yeah. want good games. You want shit games. I don't actually like hit and run. I preferred Road Rage. You okay. are weird. The other okay. one. You mean Crazy Taxi, right? Yeah, pretty much. I'm trying to think. Oh, God. I didn't realize just how ugly the kids in RPM tuning were. I, I The only experience I really have with the game was playing it from Blockbuster a few times. Do you know what the problem with me in like, recommending PS2 games and shit is? Mm. The fact that you're weird. I never had any diversification in any of the series I've ever played. Like, usually I'll just play one thing and stick to it. That's why... Basically, my PS2 library consists of Grand Gizmo games, Need for Speed games, and Grand Theft Auto games, which you already know about. Fair enough. Oh, the original well, Juiced. Good. There you go. I've got the original Juiced. I've been playing through it on the PS2 because... Fuck getting it to work on PC. Hey, Tokyo Extreme Racers. Ha, ew, you don't want any of them. They're all shit. Uh, <laughs> I know you're like the only person who thinks they're all I shit. I don't understand what the appeal of them is. What? You race around the same piece of fucking motorway over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. It's not the motorway, it's the same Oh, thing. I know what you should buy. What? Jurace will agree with me because he's like full hood like me. <laughs> One eight seven right on the house. Yep. That's exactly uh, what I was gonna say. <gasps> Shit, you know what I actually need to get while you're there. Dracer, say it with me again. Another game what really wanted to be black. Uh L A LA Rush. Rush. I've got LA Rush. It's fucking How did that fucking do you remember what was that song which started with like the really fast rapping and then turned into Shake That Fang? That was a great song. Oh, it's twist as uh I might actually buy one eight seven ride or die. Yeah, buy one eight seven One Eight Seven Ride or Die, I... the worst bit is it's actually not a bad game, it's quite fun. Yeah. What else should Although I Although the final mission is bullshit. Uh I'm assuming you've got all of your fucking Neef speeds and all the obvious ones. Yeah, I prefer Pro Street on the PS2. You Pro Street. To getting it to work on the fucking PC, that's hell. I played it on 360. I was gonna do a Let's Play of it, but I figured out I really need people to join me for that one because holy shit, Pro Street gets repetitive fast. Yeah. Ryan Cooper! I mean, I kind of just like LA Rush's soundtrack, which, because it's just a lot of Twister. I actually, I really yeah, like I just, the, the <laughs> thing is, as much as I mean it, LA Rush's soundtrack wasn't bad. I like, uh, do you remember the song that like, started on the main menu? That was pretty good as well. Oh yeah, g uh, Get Me. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember that game had like a, a music video as an extra as well? Where it was just like the music video, it's a funny little feeling. And it's just a guy yeah. stood in a scrapyard, just screaming a lot. The only problem with LA Rush's soundtrack was that you felt like you listened to all, your so all the songs after like 20 minutes. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. very long. I need to buy a Xbox version of LA Rush because that's probably what I'm gonna let's play it on over PS2. It might actually be a decent game to let's play. Oh, uh, Godfather uh, oh. for the PS2 wasn't bad. That's probably like one of the best movie tie-ins that there's ever been. You should get the original Cars for PS2. Actually, no, the Cars Jesus, games no. are. I watched Boost and Ethanol's yeah, play of that. The, the Boost has ruined need. that game for me. That fucking intro <laughs> he did alone has ruined cars for me in yeah. general. Um, oh, wait, yeah. I was about to say, like, why is that reaction? Because it's not a bad game. I didn't know Boost had let's Boost play did a let's play of it, Netflix. and we love Boost, but holy shit, the first episode of it, even he admits it, it was like the cringiest shit he's ever done in his life. Don't subscribe to Boost and Ethanol. He said the word baby. Which, like, in his fucking, like, nasally Welsh accent just doesn't work. He doesn't oh, even yeah, sound... Also... Actually, I say Welsh accent, he doesn't actually even sound Welsh, really. No. There's also, a little bit of it in the low end if you, like, actually really listen, but it just sounds more like fucking Western England more than anything. 
It's why oh, yeah, you can I'll tell because he's like the least Welsh Welsh person. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> I put a wheel on the grass and then all of a sudden tank slapper. I'm remembering why I really don't like driving BMWs in video games now. Also, the song you were talking about me was, uh, Get That Dough. What, the... Yeah, the one with the fast lyrics. That Should be big ballers and big big ballers and blah 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 it's got the fuck. I hate the protagonist of that game. He's just the worst fucking He's person the white in the world. <laughs> it's so amazing. It's like, why did you not class the fucking other black person in that role? Like, the fucking voice acting would have made way more sense. Because. I hope they remaster yeah. that game at some point. It would be amazing. Oh, the only thing. Well, Midway's dead, so. So you <laughs> want to be a player, but your wheels ain't fine. You gotta hot hit us up to get that pimps out ride. Oh, yeah, because West Coast Customs was in that game as yeah, themselves. Well. Yeah, it had Ryan doing the fucking thing, didn't it? He did, like, the uh, voice acting when you, like, went to go customize a car. That always well, pissed me off when it was just like, yeah, you can customize a car. Literally, you can't choose anything on the car other than it improves the performance slightly. Like, there's no yeah. reason to actually do that. Yeah, childhood me was so disappointed with the fucking Supra. I, yeah, I had like... I, think, I never actually got very far in the game as a kid because I sucked at it. I think the one that pissed me off the most was, I think it was the fucking Solstice or something. Wow. Like, it there are, like, just came in a colour I didn't like. <laughs> I think it came in black, I was just like, I want it to be green. Or like, yellow or something interesting. Oh yeah, I could buy Burnout 3, I should probably do that. Yeah. Wait, Burnout you don't 3. already have Burnout 3? <laughs> no, I don't. I like um, how every Burnout time someone mentions Burnout 3, like, literally, it's like one of five songs from the Burnout 3 soundtrack just playing in my head. Oh, uh, the one that already plays yeah. is the one Fallout Boy song. The, the ones Reinvent that always come in, when anyone ever mentions Burnout 3, I get either uh, Sing Along Forever pop into my head, fucking um, Over the Counter Culture, uh, the one I just thought, shit, what was the one that I just thought, oh, I Wanna Be Sedated comes up quite a bit as well. Yeah. I can't uh, even, the... oh, the one that I just thought of was the uh, fucking 18 Vision song, I Let Go. Speaking of letting go, fucking can this car please stop letting go? Yeah, the 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 two songs that I'll race song I play in my head is Reinvent the Real to Run Over Myself and <laughs> Decent that's Days and Nights. Title. Yeah. And Decent Days and Nights. I don't remember. I don't that. actually have like GTA three Vice City or San Andreas on PS two. Uh, they're, oh not my. Really, they're not really worth doing because on PS2 they're like by far away the weakest. Unless, oh my god. Unless you like glitches. I had RPM tuning still up. Look at this absolute unit that you can buy in the game. Absolute unit. Oh, what the fuck. Oh, it, shit. It, you say oh, unit just remind geez. me of something else. <laughs> Fucking 50 cent blood on the sand came in my head for like the first time in 10 years. <laughs> That actually wasn't a terrible game, that's the worst bit. Yeah, the 50 cent games weren't bad, were they? <laughs> well, Bulletproof was a bit shit, but like... Bulletproof was the one that was a bit shit, but sold like loads of copies. And then Blood on the Sand, which was actually like a half-decent game, sold nothing. Oh, actually, as there is a game for you. What? Fucking, uh, Scarface. Oh yeah, I've heard Ooh, about that. That one was actually pretty good. I need to play more of it, though. I know if you shoot people in the bollocks, you get balls. <laughs> Which means you get to go into first person mode. You get to buy a tiger and shit, so that's fun. Wow. Holy shit, we get a lot of money for doing this, I only just realised. Then again, I'm this car annoyed. costs like 73,000 credits, isn't much stupid? I'm very annoyed now because I can't find the lyrics to get that dough. So I can't attempt to do the first part. Oh god. Oh hey, Oprah Paris. Again, another Taurus tracks I just don't like. We're probably not gonna win here. Um, fucking, I can do um, thingy, like rapping. I can't rap it fast, like as fast as he did, but I can do a uh, big Punisher's bit in uh, D 
deep cover 98. Oh, that little Italy yeah. part? Yeah, caught in yeah. the middle of little, little Italy. Little did we know that we riddled some middlemen who didn't do diddly. I can do a good amount of notorious thugs. Fucking... When I'm, it comes to Big East, bro. Big, big Punish is pretty great. Yeah. Well, was. Dead now. What? I mean, he was like 50 stone, so that sort of happens. <laughs> the the one thing I remember the most about those two is uh, fucking Big Punisher and Fat Joe, like going to prison because they saw some guy in a basketball uh, court with a gold chain and decided they wanted it for themselves, <laughs> which is like the most Brooklyn thing to do in the world. Oh uh, man, I hate the. F do you know what? I've just realised something. What? This is being made even worse by the fact it's Oprah Paris in fucking reverse. Oh god, I didn't remember the names and I didn't remember the names in RPM tuna and how bad they were. I the BMW. So the BMW 3 Series is called the Sport 322 CSI. The 322. Mustang. That's a fucking. Okay. Cool. The Mustang was called the Horse V8. <laughs> I see we're going for London racer levels of fuck you when it comes to copyright. <laughs> the F-150 was literally just called the Pickup 150. Pickup 150. The, the Honda Civic was called the Hatchback SI. Okay. The Toyota Celica, the last gen Celica, is just the Coupe GT. Hmm. I mean, they did have. A and then the the Viper GTSR is the GTSR. <laughs> nice, nice. I see. We're going uh, for uh, original, high quality names. Do not steal. The, the the Dodge Charger for some reason is actually the Yeti Mach One. So it is sure. going full London racer in the sense that they have like some names that literally just like do not make sense for some reason. Who made this Babylon software? Babylon software. A name you can trust. I've actually heard that name before. I can't. They developed something else that was really shit. I can't remember the name of it. Also, that weird Beetle boat, that weird Beetle pickup thing is just called the Vocho NXT. 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 Hey, Azzy, you know what you should buy? What? The PS1 version of London Racer off Amazon that costs twenty-five pounds because it's a brand new copy. I've already got a copy of it. Oh. I love that because there's only one left, and there's been only one left for at least three years at this point. Rare. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if I buy it, will you make love to me? No. <laughs> no, I won't. And that should be a good enough reason to buy it yourself. <laughs> Is it bad that I wasn't expecting that reaction from you? Um. No. I expect like something snarkier, just not no. No, no. London, Ra London Racer Police Madness? Oh, please. Actually, I think what? that one's supposed to be pretty good. Yeah. Like, A the good PS2, London Racer game? The PS2 London Racer games actually weren't terrible, from what I hear. Yeah, but they're Davalex, which means I must have them. Which sort of hopefully means that, uh, you know, I can just kill the tradition of Davalex April and be done with it. Because there's no more bad Davalex London Racer games to play now. <laughs> Police oh. Madness is also a blue disc, which is going to come in handy. Ah! Uh. So, Jeracer. Yeah? Having never played Gran Turismo before, can you indeed agree with me that this racetrack looks shit? It looks pretty bad. Yeah. Also, I, n I actually have played Gran Turismo 5 for like 20 minutes. 5's bad, see. it doesn't matter. But that means you can provide insightful commentary when we do Gran Turismo 5. Uh, well, all I did was... Uh, I did two things. I drove a Camaro LM Edition, mm -hmm. and I upgraded a Honda Odyssey fully. Well, there's something pretty great you can participate in. What? There's an amazing endurance race in that game. What is it? The Indianapolis 500. Oh, oh, oh! There's one slight issue. Prototypes. Oh. Yeah. There's no yeah. indie cars in the game, so it's just like, oh, it's 787B, close enough. 
Anyways, that's really going to be the that. finale of that game because it's the easiest endurance. Because the shortest endurance in that game is the Grand Valley 300 kilometers. Mm hmm. Then again, I might do that last, considering like that's been like the one endurance race that has been in every single Gran Turismo game up to six. Remember six? <laughs> yeah, 24 kilometers of Grand Valley, probably. I don't actually know if there was a Grand Valley endurance. I think it was just like a bunch of random shit they did 24 minutes of. Oh yes, endurance. Listen, oh I'm not fucking complaining. Anyway, I'll just spend twenty pounds on PS2 games. <laughs> Could be worse. Oh my gosh, there are. Could, could be Pokemon cards. Could be black. Could black dragon? No, bad dragon. Although that I can imagine can black dragon is also something. Search this up real quick. I'm not going um. to. <laughs> I'm just expecting to get like, yes, I get actual black dragons and RuneScape. And a buck. I never played RuneScape. Neither have I. That's like a fun little fact for the I have never game. Also, the howts are M1. Apparently. What? Yeah, it's a gun. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I know firearms a bit. They're also Chinese American gang. I like okay. guns. In a Japanese right wing uh, political party. In case you're wondering why it sounds like I'm so far away, by the way, audience, is because I'm looking at a PS2 game so I can get Asa to spend money on more shit while this is happening. Please, no. Did you get Taurus Trophy? No, I don't like bikes. Bikes are for gays. Did you get Infusion exactly. Professional Racing? I'm planning to get that soon. That's Do you have all the Malalista? Oh yeah, yeah I've got also Modelista. I've got that. No, I, I still... <laughs> My favorite thing is that I still love how Auto Mobilista has an Auto Modelista mode. My, fav My favorite thing is just going into CEX and just buying as many shit obscure PS2 racing games as I can. I need to buy that. some, like, I, I, I bought Colin McClay Rally 05, like, ages ago, I need some more. Oh, who's Colin McClay? Oh, did you get, a uh, Driver Drift 3R? I should get Drive 3R. You should get Drift <laughs> Because 3R. it's horribly broken, because yes. the PS3 version could never be bad. Again, the, the thing that I love most about Drift 3R is the, the, the thing, The thing I love most about it is I bought it two years ago, I still haven't even tested to see if it works. Probably isn't gonna. I hope it I'm playing Drift 3 or work in Fuck me. It came from a game store that's like completely destroyed and shut now, so it's not exactly like I can return them at this point. What, Game Station? No. Mm. Yeah, that's why I own LA Rush, because I ran it from Blockbuster and forgot to give it back. I won't <laughs> mention the name of it, because I'm fairly certain it's like a thing only around here. And I don't want my pinpoint location. Just in I'm, case I decide I'm, to make a video on a Honda Accord and people are like, Hey, the Honda Accord! I'm prone to... Please, that, Emil! Emil, well, I'm with tires. you. I'm very prone to regret. You've made me buy Drive 3R on the PS2. Ah, he said it. Someone finally said it. What? Prone to regret. Get the joke? No. Unfortunately, yeah. My old account on Xbox One's called Prone to Regret. Which I actually still insist is a pretty cool sounding name. It is pretty cool. Mm. It sounds a bit emo, like but it's fine. Back. Yeah, oh. Anyways, what have you bought Drifter? Yeah, two quid. Uh, how about the Stuntman games? They were pretty good. I've got Stuntman. Yes, alright. Did you get Ignition? No, I had ignition as a kid, but it got nicked by this whole shit. Christ alive! Oh, cool. Hey, at least you didn't get your um, Xbox 360 hard drive stolen by your neighbor and almost got a Comcast guy fired because of it. Nah, but I did get my DSi stolen with my my fucking copy of Pokemon Black. Oh, my teacher took away my 3DS with my c copy of uh, Lego City Undercover. What a bitch! 
Nah, I never got it back, because either I'd tell my parents that I brought my 3DS to school. I remember or... my college tutor stole my headphones, so I said to him, you give them back or else I'm gonna throw your fat ass through the fucking window. Oh, that go. I got them back. <laughs> <laughs> and Mel, the Intimidator, you are basically Dale. Yeah. Hell yeah, fuck life, you know how we do. Oh, the Fast and Furious game for PS2 isn't too bad. Yeah, I've got that as well. Oh yeah, Tokyo Drift. I used to have loads you know, more PS2 games, but I've like traded in them in like literal years ago to fucking GameStation, so... God, I miss GameStation. I'm trying to remember what I had. I think I was one of the WRC games, which... I know I have yeah. Ford Racing 3 and uh, Ford Street Racing, but I've got those in Ford Racing 3 and... Ford Street actually, Racing yeah, but... fucking shit. Ford Racing 2 was alright. Racing, Racing 3 is actually pretty good. Yeah, I like Racing 3. Mostly because that's the only one I've played. But I have Street Racing, Racing 2. Racing 2 is... Why? Apparently Racing 1's like wank, but... Oh, it is. It has Ford Fiestas <laughs> in it, so I have to buy it. No, it's got... You start in a Ford KA. Exactly. It is crap. I mean, to be fair, Toka 2 at Ford Fiesta I mean, is probably a better game. Which is yeah. something I really need to start thinking about doing at some point. You know? I think I know what I'm going to do Toka 2, though. HG Central? No, I'm going to... Oh, God. Well, actually, I'm, it's probably going to go up on there anyway, because I may as well do it. It might as well. Yeah, it might as well. But, um... Oh, God, I... I found a very cancerous image. I need to, um... I, I think I'm going to start doing Toka 2 when like this game starts becoming dick, which is in like 20 episodes of time. When we're done with like manufacturer races and extreme events, that's all when this game becomes a massive cunt. <laughs> which can just sort of get fucked, so... I know now I'm watching someone play through Toka 1 right now. He's having fun. Is it me? No, it's not you. Uh oh. Yeah, Toka 1 has interesting physics. And yeah. AI. I really like the part where you can just drive around a corner and randomly lose grip. That's my favorite bit about that game. Also, it has a story. Yes, because racing games need stories, yeah, you sure don't you're not you know? about Race Driver 1. Yeah, but I said Toka 1. Well, Race Driver no, 1. No, Toka 1 said is race... Toka World Touring Cars. Oh, sorry, Toka yeah, I probably World should have said Race Driver yeah, 1. Race Driver... <laughs> Jeracer, you... Thicker nickel. Well, no, because remember, Toka won over. Toka won Jimmy over. Jimmy Johnson Jared stock, Labonte stock car racing. Actually, it's Jared and Labonte stock car racing. It's not even stock cars. They're fucking touring cars. Shut up. We, us stupid Americans don't know what a touring car is. I'm actually looking forward to Toka Two because Toka Two has one of the best intros ever. You know what? I'll what name of um. Also, I guess. Also, I already know what car I'm going to use in Toka 2, so, oops. I don't think of it, though. In Toka 1, I used the most overpowered car. In Toka 2, I'm going to use the most overpowered car. <laughs> but to what year did Toka 1 come out again? 97. Yeah, we did have a touring car series when Toka 1 came out, so they could have just called it our touring car series. Yeah. It, yeah, but, th I mean, the one prevailing fact to Toka 1 is the Renault Laguna was all-powerful. No one man can have all that power. And in Toka 2, the Volvo S40 is all-powerful. Because the Renault Laguna basically dominated the 97 series, and the Volvo... I don't know if it dominated, but I know it, like, won in 98. It's a good thing oh, there's yeah. no Toka 96, because then the Audi would have been, like, the most overpowered car in the world. Uh, because 96 it. was when Audi were like, hey, we can use all-wheel drive. <laughs> you forgot the best PS2 game I could buy. What? BMX XXX. Oh. I don't know why yeah. Wait, did that Tony Hawk's Underground? Yeah. Uh. Of course it do. Fucking love that shit. I have never played a Tony Hawk's game, I'm quite proud of it. I played it over my neighbor's house a few times. They're disturbingly fun. I don't even like the skater boarding, but no, I, I think don't like it. I'm like an edgy teenager that listens to Papa Roach all the time. I'm into skateboarding. I don't like skateboarding, but I just love how good the fucking. It's my last resort! 
suffocation! I love how good the controls feel. <laughs> That's my Papa Roach impression. I wonder if the people making Grand Central Four are just like, oh yeah, German cars. You must reset the Nurburgring. Uh, they were fucking obsessed with the Nurburgring. No. Ah! Uh. <laughs> I do not want to get that close to you. Fuck off. Can you Oh yeah, that's a game. Yeah, they were obsessed with this place because this was sort of the game that started that horrible trend of every game having the Nurburgring. Is it really a horrible trend? I mean... Yes, just... it's fucking hateful. This track is stupid. <laughs> it's not a fucking I'm... racetrack. But I mean, at the same time, it's not like, uh... As Google's bad racetracks. No. Oh god, 4chan's being 4chan again. Oh boy. Yeah, this game did actually start the fucking awful, obnoxious trend of every game having the Nurburgring, because this game had it. Why do you like the game again? What? <laughs> Why do you... I like this game again? Yeah, it started that. Because at least there's 51 other tracks. <laughs> <laughs> and at least, like, 10% of them aren't shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because you get the fun of Oprah Paris, Hong Kong. There's a couple of awful ones as well. You know, speaking of tracks, why did Rally the Passanado Fool never come back after Forza? Because Thursday? it's shit. <laughs> yeah, but so is with Jimmy Kaido, and that came back for four. Yeah, but then it got dropped because it was shit. Well, that's because Not everything really got bad. dropped because Forza 5 was a launch title. To be fair, Fujimi Kaido makes absolute perfect sense why that track will never return. Go on. Because can you imagine 24 driver tiles on Fujimi Kaido? Oh yes. fucking yeah. dear. And Rally de Postiano for that fact. Yeah, but Rally de Postiano has that sweet jump. What oh yeah, that's like a sweet jump, but that's like the only good bit about that track. The worst bit is I'd rather drive around Rally de Postiano ten times than drive around like fucking Fajili Kaido on Nurburgring. At least Postinado had some nice pretty sights. Yeah. I I think I legitimately enjoyed driving Postinado in certain cars. It depends what car you're driving. The problem is yeah. after doing it ten times in a row, I'm gonna be fucking pissed off, but like, I don't know, first few times, you know, zipping around there in a... I don't know, what F-Class cars are there in that game? Um, the the, the Fiesta Z-Tech and the <laughs> Aveo. The Aveo, I'm gonna LS swap, so that rules that out of contention. <laughs> um, there's the Scion XD. The Citroen C4. But, 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 Scion XD. XD. I need to X use that at some point because that car's just a fucking meme. I mean, its face is literally a mo its name is literally a motocon. It was made to be a because meme. Because Cyan was with the kids. And then Even though mostly awesome old people bought the kids XD. don't have money. And then they became boring. And, and then, then they, they died. The then they had the FRS. And then that was death. Yeah. But the BB, um, or XB or whatever the fuck it was called. The first gen one was cool, the second gen was not. No. It comes in whale con though, so that's a good colour. How many Scions fell victim to the streaks? None. I think literally the only Scion that ever got modified was that fucking one that was on Pimp My Ride. Are you talking? No, that's not true. Scions, TCs, and XPs used to get modified a lot. Because American fun. kids can be swayed by marketing very easily. Yes, yes we can. All Why you need you think is the exhibit iPhone? and that will pretty much sell you on anything. Holy shit, I'm glad to be alive. To be honest, I didn't know who exhibit was until Pet My Ride. Ex Mostly because I, I never played this. All I know Mostly is his it... song became a meme where it was just like X to the Z exhibit. Bounce. The first day of also the rest because... of my life. Sorry. Also because West Coast rap almost never got played over here, back in the day. Well, it was that, and then also, um, a couple of years later, 
I heard like his song in Juice, I was like, oh yeah, this guy. Yeah, we were too busy listening to T.I. and Rubber Band Man, I mean, wild as the Taliban. To be fair, fucking, uh, the exhibit song in Juice is actually pretty good. I mean, LAX and Underground 2 is also oh, good. Oh yeah, LAX, yeah. I forgot about that as well. What yeah, the young couple of you that is much more now. interesting. That kind of version of every single song in any game is more... Cough, fever of the flavor. Yeah. Um, fucking, is Exhibit dead yet? No. Holy no. shit, this BMW is about to do 200 pounds an hour. He did roast some chick on Twitter for um, saying, Exhibit, please print my ride. Um, um... Fastest M3 ever, boys! Holy shit, oh, that's a brick wall. Shit. <laughs> Wait, is it the GTR right behind you, Sil? <laughs> no. It's oh. sort of that spec okay. over there. So you really lost that that bad on the straight? Yeah, because yeah. I got like so far up, I was doing like 212 miles an hour and then I... Oh, hi died. Mr. M3 GTR, how you doing? And across the line! Top 10 most dramatic finishes at the Nurburgring. It's a CSL, Nürburgr it's not even the GTR. Oh, I can't tell because small. I can't tell either because they both look exactly the same. What one anyway? <laughs> the CS. Oh, that was literally the finishing order. Poor M Coop. <laughs> the M Coop done got fucked. Oops. <laughs> but I like the M Coop. So do I, but it got fucked. I like the M Coop oh. in this game because it's not that weird looking M Coop that has the license plate in the wrong place. Wait, wait, what? Yeah, one of them had like it mounted to the bumper for some reason over just having it mounted to the boot lid. <laughs> Don't know why. I think that might have been either the first year or like the last year. I don't remember. Anyways, <laughs> it's time for a surprise car. And we gonna get. Expected thing. Oh, it's the. No, 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 the Need for Speed most one. Fuck <laughs> off. Oh, oh. I actually like the wheels on it quite a lot. So do I. Anyways, that's that done. So that's it for BMW. No worrying about engine warning lights or SMG gearboxes for me. Right, let's check out this son of bitch. 71.3% completion, hooray. Meanwhile, Emil, I am looking at Z3 coupes and I cannot find a single one with the bumper. I'll with a license plate in the bumper. At some point. Anyways, 375 horsepower. It's actually worth quite a lot of money, so... You know, if you wanted to make your money back on an M car, then I guess you can sort of do that race again and sell this thing over and over again. Interestingly enough, this car has no colour. It's just whatever that is. Anyways, I guess that makes sense. Yes, that's it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Next time we're doing the final of the German manufacturer races. And may God have mercy on our souls. Stay tuned for that. Until then, farewell.